I'd like to call this meeting to order. Special meeting of the Oconee County Council, Monday, January 29th. Thank you all for joining us this evening. It's a special moment, a special day. We need to still approve our minutes from January 16th. Let's go ahead and do that first. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. In celebration of Oconee's 150th birthday, we have a special proclamation, 2018-01. Mr. Kane. State of South Carolina, Oconee County, Proclamation 2018-01, a proclamation celebrating Oconee County's sesquicentennial. Whereas Oconee County was formed in January 1868 from the Pickens District, and Wahala became the county seat and Whereas Oconee County is located in the northwestern corner of South Carolina on the edge of the Blue Ridge Mountains and takes its, takes its name from the Cherokee word Oconee, meaning land beside the water, a reference to the many rivers running through the area, including the Chattooga, a nationally designated wild and scenic river. Oconee County is unique in that it is named after a Cherokee village and not its county seat. And... Whereas Oconee County includes five municipalities, uh, Salem, Seneca, Walhalla, West Union, and Westminster, and the unincorporated areas of Fair Play, Long Creek, Mountain Rest, Neary, Richland, Tomasi, and... Whereas Oconee County citizens possess a rich and diverse cultural heritage, a strong sense of patriotism and community service, and these traditions remain strong and contribute to the vitality of the community. And? Whereas Oconee County is further unique in that a rare wildflower, the Oconee Bell, was first recorded in the 1780s by French botanist Andre Michaud when it was shown to him by the Cherokee guides. The Oconee Bell continues to flourish along the Blue Ridge Escarpment of northern Oconee County. And? Whereas Oconee County, recognized in 2015 by National Geographic as a destination of a lifetime, and home to one of the 50 of the world's last great places, and is blessed with abundant natural resources, breathtaking scenery, five rivers, and four man-made lakes would provide exceptional recreational opportunities. Further, Oconee County is culturally significant as it is home to seven museums and 22 landmarks identified on the National Register of Historic Places and Whereas Oconee County is commemorating its 150th anniversary with residents, employees, government officials, and friends gathering in celebration. Now, therefore, Oconee County Council hereby designates January 29, 2018 as Oconee County's sesquicentennial birthday. Approved and adopted this 29th day of January 2018, Oconee County, South Carolina. Happy birthday. We're going to adjourn the formal part of our meeting so we can enjoy the informal part of our meeting. Motion to Madam adjourn. Chair, yes. May I, may I, for a moment, sure. I'd like to recognize the, the committee that has helped to organize and establish all this, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, I'd like to recognize these individuals for their participation serving on the sesquicentennial committee um, who are responsible for all that you see here today and all that's been planned. Uh, they've worked uh, many, many hours and I'd like to give them some recognition. Uh, Mr. Phil Shirley with our Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. Ms. Leslie White with the Oconee Heritage Center. Charlotte Waters with the Mount Mountain Lake CDB. Ms. Janet Hartman with the Oconee Economic Alliance. Ms. Sharon DeRitter, our Grants Administrator with the county. Mr. Blair Henson with the Oconee County Library System. Quintel Walker with the Oconee Library System. Ms. Vanessa Penton with the Oconee County Chamber, and Ms. Amanda Brock, the Executive Assistant PIO for Oconee County and the Administration Office. 
Uh, we appreciate all that they do. I know council does too. Uh, they've said it many times how much work's gone into this and how much they appreciate it. Uh, we thank you for, for all you've done and will continue to do. Madam thank Chair, you. motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, <laughs> youngins, youngins, wild birds, brown. That's what I was. I was wake up. I, when you permit me, I, I just hadn't got it before I could say it to you. To wear these? I'm sure. Yes, sir. I think we should. I think we should all wear them and stand up. <laughs> you know what? I still. I had a pair of shorts. I, I went down. Well, that was, that was, was, I went down to have a new. I think these are and they put me in a big old pair of shorts like that. And then I brought those things home with us. And my wife, we going out to eat, and I put on my regular clothes, and I got them big old shorts and put them on. I walked out and got the car, and she said. You're not going with me looking like that. <laughs> and, and anyway, I started laughing. I walked, stepped out in the garage and slid them off my head. And she said, where did you get them? I said, I've seen they give you to have x-rays. Yeah. And, and my son, I asked him that he, when I was he signing mine. I'm like, why did Where's them on big shorts of yours, Daddy? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, but anyway. Oh, she there is cupcakes up here at the front to be eaten otherwise we're gonna have a cupcake uh, eating contest in a little bit I'm gonna go get one. They need somebody to show them how. Go up there with the kids. Go up there with the kids. Yes.
Everybody's here. All right. Three, two, one. Very nice. Oh, very nice. I look better in pictures. <laughs> Fuzzy. Let's just have you take a picture. That guy with the hat right there. They took a picture with him? Yeah, he took a picture. Um, okay. Have you all met one another? Kimberly, this is Miss Kaylee. This is my wife, Kimberly. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, it's a lovely event. I told you, I've been telling you I could read.
Surviving is just a pain. I'll try to fulfill it to the best of my ability, sir. <laughs> Nothing right now. I don't like new. No, no, we've got brownies and everything. No, we don't need anything else for them to eat. 
That's like last night. Um, Joey Church looked quite a practice. It's really good. I don't know. <laughs> Olivia said they didn't have any well, good food, got, so all she ate were the snacks. And well, you know, same way. It's like next next week here. We may have to do the same thing. I stopped by McDonald's and got them some burgers on the way home last night. All right, I gotta go pick her up at gymnastics. All right, we'll see you. We'll see you, man.
But at the time, the legislature had not approved the name change with Calhoun Woods. So the city was still actually named Calhoun, but the railroad had already changed the placard outside the neighborhood of folks. That was John C. Calhoun's son. He married his daughter. But the town had always, the city, I don't know what it was, had always been named Calhoun. Calhoun's place. In 45, they voted to change and make it the same name. It would be close. And by the time they had not, the legislature had not made it official.